the amount that is the impact. Back in 1983, I found my first mercury dime right up in that area, a 1925S. Figured I'd come out and poke around out here a little bit, an hour or so. One of the first fields I used to metal detect in back in the early 80s. It's kind of a humble field for me. I found a lot of good finds out here. Try the impact today, see how, how we do. All right, first target today. Tin foil. The first coin. <laughs> first coin, that's a weedy. A hundred or so times I probably detected out here over the last 40 years. Can't help but think if this, this weedy was there. And I detected back in the old days. It's an old one. Uh, it's a thin one. I can't really see the date. I think it's in a 20 something. Nineteen seventy four memorial. I will say DI four is a little more, a little bit deeper, just a tiny bit. Token. Thought it was a nickel for a minute. No cash value. Eh, some kind of clown token. Chunky cheese, Chuck E. Cheese, or something like that. Looks like it's been there for a while. It's good. Oh, it's another one of those tokens. <laughs> another no cash value token. Too bad these things never have dates on them. It'd be cool to see the dates. It'd be nice to get 
silver 22 for the year. Little snap button. And turn this signal on, about a 50 signal. Old mason lid with the glass. Broken up though. That's a solid one. Still waiting on the first silver quarter of the year. This be it. Watch it be a 65. It's a quarter. 83. Okay. Field X2. Really faint. No numbers. Let's switch it up to deep mode for a second. A little jumpy there, but I mean, it could be a deep coin. There it is, got a coin. Yep, old Canadian. I found a lot of these out here. I think 64. Boy, if that's another quarter signal, that has potential to be got a little bit of depth to it. That last quarter I found was pretty shallow, but pretty much identical signal. It seems to be a little deeper. And we got a quarter. Doesn't look silver, though. Yeah, it sucks. 1972. Okay, had a high 40s signal. I think I might have a war nickel here. Definitely got a war nickel. <laughs> Hell yeah. 1944P or D. 44D. Silver 22 for the year. Pretty much right around the spot where I, I dug an old silver Washington out here one time with my old GTA. Right around the same spot as this. Got there. Look at that. No way. Seems kind of fragile. Looks like some kind of big button or something. If you're seeing one like that. Look at that. Got the camera on there. Just get some. Like a knight or something on it. It's awesome. 
nickel. Wasn't expecting that. This ain't too far from where that war nickel was. Maybe like 10 feet. That's a great find. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's pretty shallow, so I can't swallow. I'm gonna get some kind of computer chip here, I think. Well, there's probably gold in that computer chip. So I guess I can officially say I found gold today. <laughs> Yeah, this is a deep iffy one. See if we can get it out. And we got it out. What was that? Oh, I just saw a glint. Maybe not. Oh, we got a coin. Awesome. Wee penny. That sucker was nine inches. Back in the 80s, I once found three 1919S wheat pennies right in this path here. And that is 1940-something. I had similar signal to that last wheat penny. Well, my first Indian penny out here, too. Right there. What we got? Got a coin or no? Maybe not. Looks like... Is that a musket ball or a fishing weight? It's definitely a lead ball. Could be a fishing weight. I don't think it's old enough out here to be musket balls, but you never know. Maybe some of you in the comments could tell me what you think about that. I ain't too keen, I'm not too hip on the, uh, the old old artillery we got another button looks like I got another button that's cool looks pretty old
sort of a little radio knob or something, I don't know. It's a big uh, chunk of something. Some uh, piece of emblem off an old car or something. Dime. 65. Damn it. He just dug an old 1940-something Jefferson. 60s signal. Got more signals down there. Gonna have a little coin spill here. There's another one. 1940, another one. <clears throat> I was just walking back to my car, dragging the coil. Jefferson's. Okay, whenever I find baseballs when I leave, I just put them right there on home plate. Okay, there's the finds for today. <clears throat> One memorial penny. One 1964 Canadian. Two clad quarters. One, of course, 1965 clad dime. Two wheat pennies, a 47 and one... This one's a little slick. Unknown. Might be a, either a 20s or a teen. Two clown. No cash value. Tokens. Got that little, I think it's a fishing weight, but maybe some of you guys in the comments can let me know what you think that is. Does it look like a musket ball? It's kind of not really that round. Probably a lead fishing weight, an old round one. It's got three Jeffersons and one hole, 1940, 48, and a 58, all in the same hole. And I got a 60. About 10, 15 feet away from that. Did get my 22nd silver of the year. 44. 44D war nickel. Got this button. And then, uh, best find of the day. So, I did, I did Google it and see some similar ones online but not exactly like this um did find something on online that had pretty much the same like shamrock shape with the knight in it and they say it's a victorian age button anywhere from 1830 up to about 1901 is is the victorian age so could be a nice old 1800s find there that's probably the nicest button I ever found. Kind of cool. Probably originally it probably was gold. Had gold on it or gold gilt or whatever. Well, I was out there about an hour and a half, so. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>